as far as like even back to like the towers um back when it was at the the house so we are at the new venue now so we've got this whole atmosphere about it so i wonder if that's going to be uh you know raising the stakes here for this um i'd like to see the spot go make it far i'd like to see the kazuya do some work too though That's very true. Yeah, uh, Falco is, is very safe. Um, and he also has like the reflector so that Kazuya can't be going for anything. I think that was the backer that actually took the stock there. One of Falco's strongest moves, too. Uh, the one where he does a little slide? Yeah. Gotcha. Okay, that's interesting. So he can get in with that. Okay. That should help against a, a character like, um, no, no tech. Didn't hit the stage at all. Actually just went right down to the blast zone. Uh, game one going to Sice. Um, but yeah, that's definitely some interesting tech that you've got there uh, with the being able to like dash in like that. Yep. The invincibility should help in a matchup where Falco is able to throw out a lot of safe options. So to be able to get in on them and punish some of them might help out. Um, overall, from what I'm seeing, um, the combos start with um, the Kazuya, but I feel like the end, like getting those stocks was a big trouble. Sice was living way past where he probably should have. Uh -oh. the way past it out there. oh, he's actually switching to the game a lot. I feel like this is a uh, significant change. Even if only just for the upbeat, because Falco now must face him. Much yeah, he can't go onto his shield just as easily either. Um, plus, now that he has a bucket, he could actually grab onto those lasers if Sice is not being careful, and then that gives him enough, another kill option. And Game Watch himself also has a bit of a cutscene. See, that could have continued, but he uh, missed the grab there, but, you know, Game Watch Tax, as they call it. Game & Watch Tax, yes, exactly. This stage is really good for both of these characters, too. Um, Game & Watch gets a lot out of being underneath somebody, so having these triplats to kind of maneuver around helps. Uh, same with Falco. Having another landing option, too, is going to help both of these characters. And not only that, you're pretty much not going to get edge guarded Game & Watch, especially not by Falco, like, uh, you know, how we saw the last game. Yeah, exactly. Uh, getting edge guarded with the Kazuya was pretty easy, but Game & Watch has a better time at getting back with his up B, since it has such a large hitbox on it. And also, you can see, um, you know, Falco typically fish for the up tilt. The combo start of the game lock and punish Falco's fishing. So now he has to be a little bit more honest. Exactly. He has to kind of take it slower. We're going to see the down uh, smash into the up uh, up smash there, taking it off the top. This is looking a lot better for Onion here, or Oni-chan. <laughs> Onion because of the tag. Yeah. <laughs> but, um, yeah, Oni-chan's doing a lot better here than he was with the Kazuya. It seems a little more comfortable in this matchup. Um, Wow, we're going to see a triple nair into the up B. This character gets damage whenever he wants to. And, and we can see, uh, you know, Sice, he can maintain stage, but doesn't really get much off of the Oni-chan. Like, like, you know, now, 
Yes. So we finally lock. When uh, Onichan has Scythe and Disadvantage, he's he's rolling with it. He's racking up at least 97, 100%, and then he's getting that kill. And he's just constantly repeating. Okay. I think Scythe has to respect the shield a little bit more. I don't think the stage was a trick either. It's, it's too cramped in my opinion. Yeah. Well, this was uh, Onichan's counterpick, yeah, so yeah. this was good for him. He's definitely taking full advantage of the stage here. Um, I'd say Scythe should take him to probably a uh, more open stage, but that bear is going to take the stock. Seeing a little bit of breath of life from Scythe here. Hopefully we can get uh, this next stock here, bring it to a closer game, but he's going to have to figure out this, uh, like what to do on Game & Watch's shield. Ooh, and that's not where you want to be at all. Um, so, I think, go ahead. So I was going to say, it's, um, you know, it's especially tough for Falco to kind of fight his way in because he didn't have a range option he can rely on. The laser just fuck it in. Even if he hits it, it's just laser. And then Game Watch can crouch it regardless. So exactly. Can... Yeah. He can crouch it. He can bucket it. Um, shoot. Like, it's it takes away a whole, like, aspect of Falco's uh, game at playing slow. And it forces him to go in because Onichan does not need to go in. Down air is going to take it just barely off the top. Um... There's no, there's no, you know, Falco's not a fast character, which is actually something that he could be. Same, same uh, case for Wolf. If you use your initial dash, it's significantly faster than the regular one speed, so it aids in approaching. Most Falco's and Wolf's do that. Yeah, no, definitely the the speed that uh, Falco can go at, it's it's tough in this matchup especially. He needs to find a good way in and a good way down, apparently, because he just constantly is getting put up into the air and just juggled. I feel like the biggest thing is falling out the up Bs and figuring out the best way to get those punishes. On this stage, it's kind of hard, though, because he has three uh, platforms to get to. And he doesn't necessarily have to fall. He can just down here and fall to the end. not fast. It's like, is that a good hit? Not yet. No, not yet. Almost there, though. Pretty much, we've got, oh, uh, yeah, he's going to roll onto the stage, get hit with the up smash there. And second game going to Onichan, evening it up. Um, I feel like Sice, uh, as a good pick, should go to a larger stage or something at least without the platforms. Because I feel like in a situation like this, yes, he was getting juggled, but because the stage was so small, he didn't have any room to get up, like get yeah. back down. Because um, really, because no, okay. really, like the biggest thing is like if he can even like just go off stage if possible to try and recover and go to the ledge, he might have a better time. I would, I would say maybe. Uh, Maybe Town of City. I wouldn't say Kalos because it's you no, know, too it's, big. It's too big, exactly. I feel like um, Falco, even though he can kill, I think Game Watch would have an easier time getting the stocks on something like Kalos. He would get a ledge, um, a wall jump though out of it. So true. But we're gonna see. We're definitely gonna see the uh, Game and Watch here again. We're gonna be going into Game Three on a uh, small battlefield actually. Uh, taking away that top platform should help a little bit. It's still a small stage, but uh, it probably led back to Onichan's bans. Also, we're not seeing too many um, grounded moves from Onichan. We'll see aerials, no tilts, no tilts, no jabs. True, and we're seeing a lot, like a lot of him staying in shield and trying to bait out uh, Sice's options. He's just not able to fade back enough there because of how much of a hurt box he's putting out there. Yeah. But yeah, it's just rinse and repeat. Sice, I feel like, should stay grounded and try and go for grabs. That, and, and down tilt as well. Yeah. I think you can you can be safe uh, and not get a beat. True. And here we see him. He's starting to recognize maybe he is shielding a little too much. Maybe I should go in for grabs. Trying to read the get up options too. I mean, he's neutral get up at least three times now. And the yep, down tilt. There you go. Yeah, so exactly what you were saying. Down tilt is, is such a strong option. It has a lot of shield pressure. You can go from super far away. He's done that twice now. Uh, Onichan has definitely recognized him as punishing it. He's probably not expecting Game Watch to be able to actually punish that like run speed, but he's, he's not even like running to do it. He's just rooting it like, every time. Yeah, he's just setting himself up into a position where he can kind of react mm -hmm. and then sees, okay, he goes high, side B. I'm going to run to the middle. He has a little bit of landing lag, no jump. And that was a good spacing there. He uh, dashed back outside of the narrow range because you're not going to punish that on shield as well. But. I like how he was going there for the um, for the roll read. Uh, Onichan didn't really give it to him. Key is such a big thing, too, because it stops Sice from being able to use those up tilts effectively. And there was uh, maybe two or three interactions there where Falco's multi edge just failed him. And, and, that's, and that's terrible because, you know, then you can't build your momentum, then you're in an awkward position. You didn't expect to not get your hit to actually connect. And then you're in disadvantage. Yeah, exactly. 
once once uh once Sice gets put uh rolling off the stage, he's is gonna live there, but he's gonna have to be a little bit lean. Yeah, he just constantly he doing that. Him, uh, and he doesn't have a jump, so he's he's off that stage and he's not gonna make it back. Yeah, he's Onion is reading or Oni Chan is reading a lot of his options and just punishing him hard for it. I think another thing too is he's trying to go air to air, like I'd say with the spacing game. If you were to fly in with Nair, uh, you know, Sice, if you were to fly in with Nair as Game Watch flies in, you know, with his, not at the same time, just like he does, he might be doing some of the interactions. Right, exactly. Oh my god, he's just constantly, he's he's okay. zoned in on the fact that Sice has been using side B, he's just constantly going to the middle and doing that down smash. I mean, if it's getting him the options to get those kills, I mean, why not? Yeah, yeah. So you got to see a punish on that on that key. It has lag, not a lot, but enough for you to get something. Maybe, maybe after a parry or something. I think it's too laggy. If you try to drop shield, turn around, grab. That's definitely not a thing no. in this game. That is way too slow in this game. Uh, oh, he's just gonna him. roll off, roll off of the ledge again. And get